what should you study in the era of AI? I'm sure you've wondered this, and I'm wondering this too. My profession is apparently one of the most exposed to AI, according to this new Microsoft study. Being a good journalist includes some skills that AI is simply better at. So what did this new Microsoft study found, and who is the most exposed? Let's dive in. The researchers behind the study analyzed over 200,000 conversations between Microsoft Copilot, Microsoft's own LLM, and different types of professionals in order to figure out how different professions were using it and how useful it was. The top 40 jobs most exposed to AI include skills like gathering information, communicating between teams, and non-physical assistants. Translators, historians, and passenger assistants are topping this list. But what about the least exposed? Unsurprisingly, the jobs that top this list have a physical element. People who collect blood, like phlebotomists or nursing assistants, are some of the least exposed to AI. But it's not just about delicate hand movements and physical labor. The authors of the study found the jobs that require emotional connection and interpersonal skills, some of the least exposed to AI. But most importantly, I don't know if you've noticed, but I haven't said replaced by AI. And the authors make this very important distinction. The jobs most exposed to AI are not necessarily going to be replaced by AI. They mention a famous example of the AI ATM machine. When ATM machines were first discovered and put into circulation, people thought the days of bank clerks were over. However, banks needed more bank clerks than ever before, and they went on to hire more because they still needed people to do the highly valuable interpersonal job of building relationships with customers. So what do you think? How exposed do you think your job is? And what would you study in the age of AI if you were 18 again?